the Valley of Power. And that giant bird must be the mother row that guards the valley against all intruders. It's just as the legend says. Well, I'd better move fast if I want to steal your egg. When it hatches, I'll teach the little monster to obey my every command. And when it grows as big as you, my giant lady, all Eternia had better watch out. <laughs> Sounds awfully loud for a miniature snowhawk. Come on, Cringer, I know my birds. And that is a miniature snowhawk. Adam, Cringer, look out! Oh, no! I guess it wasn't so miniature after all. Come on, guys. That's the Mother Row that guards the Valley of Power. We can't turn back now. <laughs> Want a bet? Cringer! <laughs> Don't let go, Adam! <laughs> Don't let go! Don't worry, old pal. We won't let you down. <laughs> Am I safe yet? Safe as can be. Oh, Taylor, how do Adam and I let you talk us into these crazy adventures? Come on, Cringer. The sorceress told all of us about the magical spring in the valley. It rises once every thousand years. And today is the day. All you have to do is drink the water. And the magic will make you as brave and strong as He-Man and Battle Cat. Wow. What do you think of that, Cringer? I can't believe it. <laughs> Battle Cat is my idol. You, you really think it's possible, Tila? Well, maybe not. But anything will be an improvement. Hey, that wind should be freezing, but... It's warm. It must be coming from the valley. We'd better hurry. Because if we're late, we'll have to wait another thousand years, and I don't think any of us has the patience for that. I <sighs> finally made it. And now to steal the egg of the mother. Wait, galaxies. It's even bigger than I thought. I just better get out of here before the mother returns. This is it. Th this is your magical spring? Looks pretty dry to me. Unless, of course, the magic water's invisible as well. Give me a break. The water only comes up one day every thousand years. But the sorceress couldn't tell me the exact minute. Well, it, it better happen soon. Or we're all gonna be bird food. Calm down, guys. We haven't done anything to that bird, so why should she bother us? You may think we haven't done anything against the Mother Row, but, but try telling that to her. Uh-oh, she's after me. It looks as if someone else is in trouble, too. Get down! And my friends are Adam and Cringer. Oh, and, and I'm Donovus. But well, well, why is that monster bird after us? Maybe she's protecting the magic spring. Is that why you're here? To become more powerful? And the legend is right. Drinking the water will give me the power I want. Uh, well, of course I plan to use my powers to fight uh, evil. But uh, just where is the spring? 
We'll be standing in it. When the waters rise, that is. Look out, you two. Here she comes again. Hey, Cringer, I think it's time we became more powerful ourselves. And we can't wait for that magical water, either. By the power of Grayskull! It's almost as if she were protecting her children. Here she comes again. Wait a minute. What's in that knapsack? E-Man, Battle Cat. You sure came at the right time. That monster just flew off with a woman. I tried to protect her, but I couldn't. Come on, Battle Cat. I'll be right behind you. As soon as I drink my fill of magic water, that is. <laughs> Battle Cat, when we get to the top, you've got to tell Mother Roe we mean her no harm. I just hope we speak the same language. What's going on? It's happening! The magical waters are ready to rise! You must be ready to drink! Amazing! The legend was right about this, too. Well, old pal, I hope you're not thirsty. Because whether she realizes it or not, Tila still needs help. One hero coming out of the Valley of Power is more than enough for me. No wonder the Mother Row is mad. Danavis has stolen her egg. What, what, what's happening? I feel, I feel incredibly powerful. That's it. The magic worked. My baby bird. <laughs> I don't believe it. The magic is making the baby grow to full size. Thanks to my new magical power, you are now under my complete control. Too bad. No more water means Prince Adam and Cringer lost their chance to be heroes. And now I think it's time to take care of He-Man and Battle Cat as well. Tila, are you all right? I'm fine, but what about Adam and Cringer? Don't worry, they're all right. But I think we'd better get out of here as well. He-Man! Uh-oh. This calls for some fancy footwork. <laughs> Enjoying your ride, He-Man? Sure thing, Danavis. It's a real kick. I'm so glad. But you've come to the end of the line. Where did that menace of the skies fly off to now? I'm sorry I am! <laughs> Pretty strong wind, you see. Now this is what I call a real cliffhanger. I've got only one chance. And that's to learn very quickly how to fly! Oh no! It's He-Man! <sighs> He's dropping like a lead balloon! I think I'd better leave flying to the birds. But wait, I think I've got the hang of it. Here he comes! 
He-Man, are you all right? It was fun, Battle Cat, but I wouldn't advise anyone to try it unless they were born with wings. Well, I'm brave enough, but not dumb enough to try that. Good. Fool! You've only made a temporary escape. But the Royal Palace of Eternia is doomed. <laughs> The king and queen are at the seashore. And man-at-arms and the troops are all out on maneuvers. Which leaves Orko at the palace all alone. Oh, no! The Mother Roshi's back! Come on, Battle Cat. See if you can find out what's going on. I can understand what she's saying, and I'll bet she can understand me, too. <laughs> None of us took her baby. She wants her baby back, and I told her we'd help. In that case, Tila, you hitch a ride with our new friend to the palace. But Adam... Don't worry about Adam or Cringer. We won't leave until we know they're all right. We'll meet you at the palace. Just get there as fast as you can. Once I've demonstrated my power, Prince Adam and the whole royal family will fall to their knees and bow to me. <laughs> hey! What's going on? Oh, no! Go back for He-Man and Battle Cat. Do you understand? Orko, where are you? Watch out, Tila! We're under attack! I know, and your hammock just gave me an idea. But we've got to hurry! <laughs> Here they come, Orko! You know what to do! <laughs> It'll take more than a mere rope to stop us! Fly under it! Now! Oh, no! We've been tricked! We did it, Tila! We did it! And you're both gonna pay for ruining my nap, too! Yikes! Look out, Orko! That bird is dangerous! And so am I! Let's get out of here! Boy, I sure wish He-Man were here! Come on, Battle Cat! An Eternian snail can move faster than this! One more crack and you're walking. Uh-oh, sounds like trouble. Oh, that's the Mother Row. And she says Tila sent her back to give us a lift. I guess Tila didn't think I was fast enough either. <laughs> Why don't you just levitate? Levitate? Oh, yeah, gee, thanks for reminding me. Tila, Orko. He-Man. Quick, go to the Sorceress and get something to get rid of the magic of the Valley of Power. The Mother will take you there, while Battle Cat provides a distraction to let you get away. <laughs> I promise. Ah, Tila, I never get to do anything exciting. <gasps> Tila and Orko are coming. I must think. An antidote for that baby Roe. One that will return it to its mother as it should be. As for that evil Donovus, well, I needn't worry about him. Anger reducer. A touch of baby love. Hmm. Some motherly understanding. A pinch of a baby's cry. Tila, I, I, I can't hang on much longer. They're here, and just in time. Help! 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 Orko! It's all right.
right, Tila. Orko was only splashed with a bit of the antidote I had prepared for you. Oh, and don't worry about Danavas. The effects of the water will wear off any moment now. Just like Orko will recover. <laughs> What's happening? You know, for a minute there, I thought... Come on, Orko. And thank you, sorceress. <laughs> Get him off! Oh no! Oh, so much for my clever plan! Battle Cat, watch out! Oh no, not again! Don't worry, Battle Cat, I'm on my way! Great work, He Man! But now what? I think it's time to call in reinforcements. Yeah, what are those two up to now? Get ready, Battle Cat. You gotta be kidding! You got a better idea? Now! Yeah. We did it! Battle Cat may have escaped, but He-Man is mine! Ah, He-Man, you forgot just one thing! I can't fly this crazy thing! Just hang on, Battle Cat. I'll think of something. I hope so! Your airplane shaking the stripes off of me! I love the fresh air at this altitude, but I'm not so sure I like the view. Ah, am I glad to see you! Now just get me back to solid ground. Oh, we made it. Oh, dirt, rocks. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I sure hope that stuff works. It did on you. He-Man! We've got the antidote! Great work, Tila. Open wide, baby roll. It's time for little monsters to take their medicine. It worked. He may be huge, but <laughs> he's still a little baby at heart. Now that's what I call... A happy family. We don't have any antidote left to use on Danavas. Don't you remember, Orko? The sorceress told us his power would wear off by itself. And until it does, I think these should keep him out of trouble. Yeah, don't worry, He-Man. I've learned my lesson, and I intend to pay for my evil deed any way I can. Just as long as I can keep both feet on the ground. <laughs> it sure is nice to spend a day in the woods. Nature offers us much to enjoy. Unfortunately, some people do things which hurt the plant and animal life in the forest, like Danavis in today's story. By taking the mother rose egg, he upset the natural order of things. So the next time you're in a beautiful outdoor setting, enjoy yourself, but be sure to leave things just as you found them. That way the next person can enjoy them too. <laughs>